trending. President Buhari El Rufai of Tatkali abandoned the killings of Southern Cardinal Christians, says Equa. The Evangelical Church winning all as accused both the Cardinal State and Federal Government of abandoning the victims of attacks in Southern Senatorial District of the state. Equa stated this in a communique issued at the end of its 67th General Church Council meeting held at its headquarters in Jos and Plato State Capital, signed by Reverend Stephen Panya Baba and Reverend Yunusa Sabo Namdu, Junior President and General Secretary and General Secretary, respectively. It reads the council views with serious concern the unabated attack of armed S-men and bandits across the country, especially in the Middle Belt and Northern States, particularly in Southern Kaduna, Niger, Plateau, Benue Kogi, Kasina, Zamfara, Taraba, and Adamawa as they continue to destroy lives, farms, and properties of innocent members of these native communities with impunity. The council condemns the Mindos killings of the indigenous Christians in southern Kaduna over the past few weeks, which has assumed a genocidal magnitude and calls on the federal government to apprehend the perpetrators to face the full wrath of the law and to compensate the victims in the interest of justice. The council notes with grief the several attacks on Southern Cardinal Christian communities, which are the strongholds of Equa, where over 120 persons, including infants and women, have been killed in the last two weeks alone with scores injured and thousands displaced from their villages and farmlands by armed Fulani militia without any care from the Cardinal State and Federal Government. It added that the manifest nonchalance of both the Cardinal State and Federal Government to the plight of our compatriots is suggestive of their loss of the innate human, human sense of value for life and their seeming abdication of their primary responsibility of securing the lives and property of their citizens. Furthermore, the Council frowns at a recent statement credited to a presidential spokesman explaining away these genocidal massacres as repressal killings. According to the church, no responsible government would want to be perceived as holding briefs for terrorists unless it is complicit. Does the council even more worried about the callousness of the government in changing the narrative of the attacks, bending it towards blaming the victims when, in actual sense, it is the government that has woefully failed in its constitutional responsibility of protecting its citizens. In recognition of its divine mandate, the council remains all of the sacredness and I inviolability of the right to life stating that no personal authority or institution has the right to terminate the life of another unlawfully and urged everyone to respect the sanctity of human life and end the wanton bloodletting in the land it stressed the church advocates for a stronger collaboration between the government, the security agencies, and the entire populace to make for a more robust and rapid response for the protection of human lives and property. 
Cardinal killings, Buhari El Rufai told to resign immediately. Khan Secretary General Barista Danladi Yerima laid to rest in Kaduna Southern Kaduna killings. You will not escape justice, Omokri tells Governor El Rufai Southern Kaduna killings. Mbaka only seeks Supreme Court verdict, PDP group, Kaduna killings, Northern Christian blast Buhari El Rufai government. So Kapu to El Rufai, we've suffered greatest social disruption, economic De deprivation, insecurity. Well, this is serious. My own part of this is that it's only God that will punish all these people that are killing Nigerians unnecessarily. Well, we it has come to our notice that a lot of them, a lot of the dignitaries, a lot of our leaders know about the incessant killings of innocent Nigerian citizens. Well, Okpala Chus has said on Twitter, he said, I am not surprised at the way our federal government have been handling the Kaduna genocide because any government that rewards terrorists and bandits slaughtering human beings handsomely can never be trusted to protect ordinary Nigerians. That is it. Well, yes, they have pursuing Islamization agenda. They told us we paid death. Yes. Okay, the Ateno would not last forever and is going to average for his children. So that is our prayer. We know that. But meanwhile, it is not El Rufais, but Buhari failed the entire Northwest by allowing his Fulani Bono kinsmen to be killing and maiming houses in Andres every day. The kidnapping along Kad Abuja Road are uh, alarming. Okay, and there is nothing extraordinary about Erofi and Buhari, but the gullible Nigerians who are so blindfolded by these brainless and physically deranged leaders. Okay, and it is you no know, very, very sad that all these are happening in Nigeria of today. And a lot of people now have this what they are after is what they will eat. What that is what a lot of them care for, and that is what is making this country not to get to the level that it's supposed to have gotten to. This is very bad. Nigeria is getting worse by the day economically. In fact, everything is going wrong may the good lord continue to help us in this country well that is it my people meanwhile let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates thanks and god bless